So that was the fuel, fuel done. So now I have to get my hair cut at Tony's Hairdressers, God rest his soul. Uh, the chap he had with him has taken over, it was great, because he knows how to do my hair, which is wonderful. And uh, yeah, so that, as I said before I went into the petrol garage, uh, I'm trying out my winter gear, RST Commander, something like that. I'm definitely not going commando, <laughs> not in this weather. So it's down to about 10 or 12 degrees today and I've got the the jacket of the RST Commander outfit. I'm still wearing the jeans, but I've got my normal jeans underneath. So they're effectively acting as like a double layer for cold, not for protection, although I might add a little bit of protection. Um, boots on, two socks and see how I feel. So the plan then, to get my hair cut and uh, go to the Ace Caf. One second, Doris is talking. Doris is Google Maps. Tell me to go on to Carlisle Avenue. I'll just wait here. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go hair cut, Ace Caf. Hold on, let me get it. I've also got new gloves on. And they're lovely and warm. Like with anything new, they're very uh, stiff. They're RST... I'll put the name underneath. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. What they're called. It's X-Trail or something. It's taking me uh, via the school, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, so Ace Calf potentially takes some photographs, digital and film on my Hasselblad which is in my top box, along with my big thick chain. And uh Oh yeah, okay, yeah, so I know where I am. Right, um And then, depending on how the day's looking and, you know, just generally, I might head off down to Dorking, Box Hill specifically, for two reasons. One you probably already guessed, uh, but I can go at the top of Box Hill and get some beautiful landscapes on film and digital. And then take the windy road, clear, clear, clear. Still clear, right. So, um, uh, yeah, head off down, down there if the weather holds out, which it should do, apparently, but I might be right, been dressing up in all my gear. And for the second time, I'm using the uh, sun visor part of my crash helmet. Um, even though I've got sunglasses, well, not sunglasses, I've got glasses that go dark, you know, not black, but dark. Um, they're my driving glasses, as it were, long distance. Um, yeah, so we'll go down to Box Hill and um, hopefully now I want to be camera shy and we'll um, take some photos. Yeah, so if I go to Dorking, that would be all the way down on the A roads uh, through Kingston, Tolworth, um, Epsom-ish, sort of. Uh, Yule, definitely Yule. Uh, through Burr Heath, where I went to school. 
and uh, and then off up the country lanes to uh, the top of Box Hill where you used to be able to get a slow comfortable screw and any of you who know what I'm talking about can leave a comment below <laughs> and it's not what you mucky minded people think Although it used to make us laugh as 15, 14 and 15 year old boys. <laughs> so, nearly at my hairdressers, the barbers. Uh, oh, uh, yes, something you might be find interesting, because I probably won't be able to have my camera on when I'm doing it. Um, where I get my hair cut was where Marshall amplifiers were first made. Yep, Jim Marshall, a drummer like myself. Uh, made Marshall amps, Marshall amplifiers, things you see at gigs and all that, all stacked up. And this is where I get my haircut, is where Jim started the Marshall amp empire. Small world, well, isn't it? When I had my drum making company, uh, Marshall bought out Natal drums. I think that was the right way around. And, uh, you know, had a little business to do with them. Along with many other drum companies across the world. Yeah. You never know who you're talking to, do you? <laughs> Still haven't got a name. For my little CB125F. So, any suggestions? I'll be uh, warmly received. Keep clean, children are present. <coughs> I've already discounted Bambi because that's already used by a fellow YouTuber who's got their own. Park in uh, the Liddles car park. Once I get there, I was doing any kind of shopping. Oh, red lights. Take your option. Right, I'm going to dismount and sort myself out to take a walk around to the hairdressers and I'll be back soon. God, my hands are warm. God. Yeah, there you go, RST. Sorry, I'm just adding this, whatever these are. 
RST those ones <laughs> okay oh, had my haircut all very nice shame that the shop's closing though after 30 odd years moving down the road not far uh, to make way for more flats in the area so just kill the character of an area build sterile flats for sterile people to call home yeah well this is the modern world anyway enough of that <coughs> took a picture because obviously that's where Jim Marshall as I said earlier started Marshall Amps there is the plaque on the floor which I've just put up and apparently something's going to happen with that in the new building and a few other things have been suggested probably just to get through the planning permission like all these things they'll run out of money and can't do something anywho's enough scepticism and now let's get back to uh, riding where am I going well I was going to go to the Ace Caf but they're going to have a load of cars there so there ain't going to be a lot of room for me to mill about with a camera so I'm going to spend the afternoon maybe earlier Doris was taking me the right way let's cut out some of this oh well sorry Doris temper there ah this is what's going on so here we are in uh Kewbridge, well, nearly at Kewbridge. This is the, uh, what's the museum. This is the Museum of Steam, I believe. On my left, with that tower. London Museum of Steam or something. I'll put a link below. Worth a visit if you're in the area. Yeah, there you go, the London Museum of Water and Steam. Oh yeah, I was telling you about the cameras, wasn't I? So I got me uh, <coughs> Hasselblad 500cm black edition and I've got my Rolleiflex uh, 3 E, I think it is. Um, you'll see it in a minute. Well, not in a minute, in an hour or so. So I thought I'd get some different angles Van indicated, that's very kind of him. So now we both know what we were doing, or what he was doing. Yeah, so Rolleiflex and thing, no tripod because I'm looking for an incredibly compact tripod to hopefully go in my top box. So if you're quick, we can either go via Richmond be stuck in traffic or we can go left and go via sort of the back end of Richmond what do you want to do what do you want to do 
Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? We're going left. <laughs> I teased. Yeah, Doris said to go left. I'm listening. I'm listening to Doris. Is that man well? So now we're on the South Circ. Again, um, this video is a warts and all, because remember I'm still learning, still trying to gain experience, that's why I'm probably doing this, to be honest, A for a bit of fun, and the sun's out, plus to test all my winter gear, which is working really well at the moment, and get some road mileage. A feather rider there, being a tad aggressive. I had the lane, I had the mark. But he decided to ride just like any other. You know what? Not to worry. Can't help having a small penis. And on we go. Luckily they got their traffic lights. Right, so this is 20. So this is 20, right? Okay. There's your Thames, all of you, tides in, tides in, boats are out. And he's off to play golf on the Thames, okay. Okay, here comes the rain. A little shower. Careful on the road, so. Ah, oh, this is where we are. All right, okay. the shower over. <laughs> Still the roads are going to be a bit 
treacherous. Oh, this is Roehampton. I can't filter through that island. So I'll just have to wait me turn. Be patient. Going down the A3. Huh. I know a quicker way Doris has taken me. I'm doing just under 40, so what's he doing? Yeah, I'm sure I do know a different way. So I'll come back that way. Shines out. <coughs> yeah, that little bit of rain was a, a wake her up a row. <laughs> so I think what she's done is she's maybe bypass the whole of uh, Richmond and Kingston. Full row, full row, full T. Let's get up there as quick as the traffic will allow. And we're there.
minutes time back. Dry off a little as well at the same time. <laughs> 50 dead, dead on. 50 camera coming up. Yellow ones perched on a tree, look at that. A metal tree a man's making. Two, four, three, seven, yeah. Yes, I'm, I uh, faffed that uh, roundabout. I forgot to put my bloody indicator on. Those poor cars, they probably wonder what the hell I was doing. And I don't blame them, to be honest, so my fault. So I'm the dickhead. <laughs> I have the small penis. Yeah, I think uh, both those vehicles, right now, or at least the one in front of me, it's a hundred pound fine and three points, I think.
So I'm here. There's some bikes here. So here's some photos. The next bit of the montage of photos. So you can't do the camera and other cameras as well as other cameras. So back in a way. So, that's the bikers, Bob Bender, Bob Seal. Uh, there's some lovely people, lovely guy called Joe, whose um, image of his uh, lovely bike that's up with the uh, all three cameras, to be honest, the uh, Hasselblad. Uh, Riley Flex and the Rico is back up, <laughs> just in case. And uh, find the uh, sub to the channel below, I'll put a link to him. Uh, lovely bike, really nice bike. So, uh, hopefully, those pieces have come out, and if I have, You'll see me uh, printing one, two. This is uh, Box Hill, so going up Box Hill. This is the way I thought I was come, so I'm doing it in reverse, basically. So we've got the zigzags. That's the first one. <laughs> I spent loads of time here as a kid. So in a school close by, speed bumps. I don't want to do Yeah, so uh, I spent loads of time here. Snow and the rain, and works out the uh, slope of the screw yet. Apparently, it's very tasty. <laughs> Practice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop up there's a like a viewing station or a viewing platform just up here, well at the top. Um, <coughs> I'm going to stop there and take a few um, 
few snaps to get the sunshine, beautiful sunshine now. I'm going to make the most of it. I've lost the windshield on my mic, so I'm not sure how this boy vocal is going to come out. Well, let's just see. Let's see I have to do this all in thirds, you know? Put no one behind me. It's the first one I've ever had. I'm not going to do that. Okay, got a second. Got a slow Yui in case someone else comes in. Yeah, there's someone. Uh, yeah. That's about it. Jarvis. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Didn't hurt anyone. Scared himself. Not the suits. Just. Okay, so this is the top of the hill. And here... Where they've sanitised it all. Into it. Bring your dog and don't scare your mom. the view just around here oh over there too careful speed it up okay so this is the view I want so now I've got to find somewhere to park so there's the you can go down there. So you know what? I was going to park up here. Oh no. 